Tessa, Begawato, Arahato, Sama Sambu Tessa, Namo Tessa, Begawato, Arahato, Sama Sambu Tessa, Namo Tessa, Begawato, Arahato, Sama Sambu Tessa, <clears throat> so today we are going to continue. So Bujanga. So Bujanga also in explained, expounded by the Buddha in the original text, Wu Vika Nisita. Widaga Nisita, Niroda Nisita, also Gapri Name. When the yogi develops Sati Sambhujanga, Dhamma Sambhujanga, Uriya Sambhujanga, and so on, every Bhujanga depends on the Viraga Nesita, Niroda Nesita, Vuvega Nesita, Osaka Priname. This Pali also explained by the commentary in two ways, according to the Logiya Bhujanga and Logodra Bhujanga. So Vuvega also Explained, Logiya, the so we wake up, are going to Logiya Vipassana, how this we is attained. Are going to the Logodra Mecca, how this we is attained, depends on. The so difficult, this, uh, the word, we we can see the, we can see the, the explanation of this Pali. A little difficult to understand, but anyway, we were trying to understand so as much as we can. So, here at first, we start with the why the Buddha expounded only seven Bhujangas, not six Bhujangas, not eight Bhujangas. I wanted to see, look at uh, the commentary. So in the commentary, Sabaswasuda commentary, we have seen like a, a Nunadika do. There you see the first one, the, the, the bus. Atta do lakanadi, he come out doja winich, or Nunadi go, and Nunadika doji wa win ya debo, we ba win. So page number 18, <clears throat> page number 18, so there is Kama Dodi, Anunadiga Dodi, do you see? Okay, Kasma Bana Bhagavada, Sadeva Bhujanga Oda, Anuna Anadikata. Anuna anadigada na una no less than. Anadigada it no more than that. No more than, no less than. No less than is anuna. Anadiga, no more than. No less than seven bojanga. No more than seven bojangas. No less than and no more than seven bojangas the Buddha is found it. So the, the reason is pointed by the commentator. Lino deja pripekato, sabatika doja. So 
So lina and outdecha. So outdecha we translate destruction. So what is lina sluggishness? Shrank or shrinking. We shine away from something. It is lina. Odeja is the destruction. Sabatika doja. So somebody can also, in two ways we can understand. Sabata everywhere. The Sabata niyota. Sabatika. I'm going to whistle the Maga Mahadika. Sabata niyota. Sabatika. Associate with everything. Everywhere. Every place. The Saba Atta Sabina Atta Daba Sabati. The sabatia is a sabatika, not ya changing to the ka. So originally, according to the second explanation, sabatia. The sabina ati daba, ati daba, the meaning is needed. Sabina ati daba, sabina, everything, by everything, ati daba. So Sabina also, like uh, later we will understand by by all of both sides, by both sides. But because <clears throat> Saba means the all, so now we translate by all of both sides. Ati Deba is needed. So it is needed by, by both all sides. So these two definitions are taken from Visodhimaga Mahadiga. The Sabatika refers to the Sati. So now we, Padipaka, what is the meaning of Padipaka? Opposite, no? Padipaka. Contrary. But the Baka is opposite or contrary. So Bakiga is siding with. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. So kasma pana baga wada. Sadewa bujanga wada anuna anadika. Only the seven bujangas, no, no less than, no more than, was expounded by the Buddha. Why? Why was? Only the seven bujangas, no less, no more than. By the Lord Buddha, the two reasons. Because they are opposite to the sluggishness and distraction. Because it is needed everywhere. They are needed everywhere. Yeah? Okay, it, are he, it is true. He means true. It are here. They are bujanga, linasa, badibaka. Three bujangas are opposite to the sluggishness. Sluggishness, shrinking, we are retreating, we are withdrawing mentally, I mean. We don't want to continue, we don't want to move forward, we don't want to make progress, it is a lena. So lena means, it is like a, you know, we have the warm, you see, earth warm, do you see, earth warm, do you know? Earthworm. The when you you pick up this earthworm, or maybe near the earthworm, you may put the salt. What happens? Earthworm retreat. So when I run back, it is called the lena. So according to the lena, we could not continue. Uh, we could not proceed. We could not move forward. So for example. Some, you know, some students uh, ask me how many years to take Bali, uh, to, to be well versed in the Bali literature in the hope of uh, one year, two years. At that time, so when, when I ask them, maybe 10 years old, we, don't, we cannot, you know. <laughs> there is a lena, you know. We cannot spend that time. Okay, how can we attain the Nibbana, how can we take the mega jnana, pala jnana, you know? How do we practice? <clears throat> so someone asked me like this. At that time, so now I answered them, depending on the different paramis of the individuals, the, the time or duration, when, it is very difficult to say. But the, for the time being, now it is in the modern period. Many people are influenced by the <coughs> gilesas. You know that we have more gilesas in this period. So for us to attain the mega jnana, pla jnana, we will make a strong effort. We, will, we may do, that we may practice the whole day, the whole night, without speaking to the other people. At that time, some people, they shrank. You know? They could not continue. They think uh, the to attain nibbana it is very easy, you know. Like uh, by walking, by eating, by sleeping, they may attain the such a mega jnana, pala jnana, the in the easiest way. But for some people, for uh, you know, individually, some people have a lot of paramis. They might attain such a jnana easily. For some people, it is very difficult. So generally speaking, we must try very hard. So in the hope of like, attaining such a jnana easily, at that time someone tell him, oh, it is a not easy, it is a very difficult. You may not sleep very well. You may, be, you may feel very hardship. At that time, mentally we are shrunk. It is called lena. Like I put, the, when the, the earthworm to touch the salt. At that time, the other one retreat back. Similarly, such a mentality is called lena. Odeja is easy to understand. We are distracted by many things. So we cannot put our uh, sati, our mind, or a single object, a long time. 
maybe once again for smart telephone, once again for television, once again for book, another second for speaking, you know, like uh, we are wandering within the many objects. It is called the distraction. So which book in Bujangas are Linasa Padibaka? So to your Bujanga, Linasa Padibaka, what is the predicate? Padibaka is predicate. Three Bujangas are <coughs> opposite to the Lina, sluggishness. According to the Bali, Lina is a genitive case. But we have to translate according to the English, opposite to. So, Yadaha, Yasme Jako Bekoe, Same Lina Jeda Hodi. Kalo Tasme Same Yadama, which is a Samu Jengas of Bawanaya. So, when the old man's the mind becomes sluggish. At that time, it is time. It is time to develop the Mawijiya Samujanga. Now, we have already known <coughs> how to develop the Mawijiya Samujanga. Just study. Kalo Uriya Samujanga sa Bhavanaya. Kalo Piti Samujanga sa Bhavanaya. So, Piti Samujanga also. <coughs> When you have a lot of BDs, so we are very energetic. So our mentally, we are very strong because of BD Sambu Jenga. The BD is also has the nature of the floating. So when someone has a BD, so we can see you know, this, it is very obvious that he has BD because his face is too bright, you know, he's smiling. The way he moves, walks, speaks is very active because of BD. There is also one of the reasons why when some of uh, the yogis attains BD Sukha Ekakata, the Tatiya Jhana, at the time they later they see oh, BD also very floating, it looks like a uh, very obvious. So because it is obvious, it is not, not calm enough, not peaceful enough. Then he wanted to remove this BD. Then he develops another jhana, Trauta jhana, Sukha Egagata. The even the Sukha also still unsettled, still unstable. So it is the best to have jhana with the Upaka Egagata. In this way, he got the, the fifth jhana. So Bidhi Samu Jenga is, has very obvious characteristic. Like if someone wins a lottery, Maybe one hundred thousand dollars, for example, he could not, you know, cover his, uh, you know, his face. How much he is happy. So, how many bujangas for the lina are uh, the opposite to the lina? Three. What are these? Dhamawijya sambojanga, Uriya sambojanga, Piri sambojanga. Do you The Buddha expounded. Three Bhujangas are opposite to the Odija or destruction. Yadaha. The Yasamaja called Bakerway, some may you older than Jaden Hodi. Carlo, Dasame, some may you better be some Bhujangas are Bawanaya. Carlo, some are some Bhujangas are Bawanaya. Carlo, Ubeka, some Bhujangas are Bawanaya. So when the mind is too destructive, very destructed, at that time we need to develop three bhujangas, basadi, sambhujanga, samadhi, sambhujanga, ubeka, sambhujanga. Yesterday also I, we, we have already studied how to develop ubeka, sambhujanga. So ubeka, to develop ubeka, sambhujanga, we need to approach to the two extremes, love and hate, the sukha and dukha. So Ubeka Sambu Jenga has a characteristic of stability. Because of Ubeka Sambu Jenga, our mind is more stable. Three Bujangas are opposite to the Odeja. Okay, the Odeja I want to tell you that Bali, they are all the Jasa Paribaka.
Okay, so the your only just a brief because the sentence is that the next sentence is yataha. So yataha sentence, what kind of sentence is Abraham? The your only just a brief is the sentence, maybe sentence number one, sentence number A. The yataha sentence, yataha sentence up to the Ubaka Sambu Jengaza Bhavana Yati. This is the second sentence, the whole. The whole quotation is a second sentence. So sentence number A, the Yo Udijaza Bribaka. Sentence number B, Yataha and up to the Ubaka Sambu Jengaza Bhavana Yati. There are two sentences. The second sentence is according to the sentence division. Now we have already learned in the Atagata, the, the reading the Atagata class. We have known already such a technical terms. When we quote something, it is called in the Bali quotations of Agama, you know. Agama Danli Karana, you know. The, the, the sentence number A is Agama Danliya sentence. Agama Danli Karana and Agama Danliya sentence. So Agama Danli Karana, because the commentator said three Bojangas are opposite to the Odija, okay. His word is not strong enough. He need to prove what he said is true, what he said is consistent with the Buddha's teaching. Then he showed the next sentence. So the Buddha also said, So Galodas Mesamaye, Pasadi Sambu in Sambu Jangasa, Samari Sambu Jangasa, Ubaga Sambu Jangasa Bhavana. Yeah. Because of this, the Buddha's words, and I said, the Yodi Jasa Paribaka. So with the quotation, he is he support what he said in the previous sentence. So the sentence number B it is Agama Dhanikarana. Sentence number A is Agama Dhaniya sentence. So similarly in the previous two sentences also. Sentence number A, Teo Bujanga Linasa Bribaka. No, similarly he supported him what he said with the quotation taken from the original text. So ego baneta sabati ko. So we have already counted six bojangas, but only one is our mind. What is that? Sati <coughs> Sri Sambojanga. But here one is needed everywhere. The sabbatical I have already translated. Sabbatical the meaning is is needed. Why is needed everywhere? So why is needed everywhere also? This is it is his own words. He needs to prove according to the text. Yadaha <coughs> Stanja Kwaham Bekawe, Sabati Gangwara Medi. The Buddha already expounded Stanja Kwaham. Kwaham, how do you divide? Kwaham. Huh? O monks, I said, Sati is needed everywhere. Sati, Sabati Sati is needed everywhere. Okay, Sabata can be bato. Dhinami Sabata ichi tabandi ato. Okay, now we have already known the meaning. Lino dija pripaka do sabatika doja sati wa bujanga wota anuna anadika di. Iwa meta anun anuna dika do be wuni chiyo nyata bo. So when the Buddha is founded seven bujangas, the past three. For the contrary to selectionness. The second three is expounded for you know the opposite to the 
Odeja destruction. So one is expounded because this Sati Sambhojanga never match, never less. It, it should be always associated with the all Pochangas. It never, in the Lina Paripaka also Sati is needed. The, for the Lina, Sati is opposite to the Lina, opposite to the destruction. The city is needed in the both sides. Sabena atetapa. Sati is so Samari Sambujega no opposite to the Odecha, no opposite to the Lina. So when you yesterday also I have explained the which in the, uh, which Bujanga should be balanced. Samari in Uriya. Sada in Penya. So Sada Penya is also should be controlled by the Sati. Like uh, for example, Samari also should be controlled by the Sati. Uriya also should be controlled by the Sati. So because of this, Sati is needed everywhere in every Bujanga. So it is, Sati is also opposite to the Lina, opposite to the, uh, opposite to the selectionness, opposite to the destruction. So according to the, this nature, the Buddha said only seven Bujangas, no less than, no more than, no eight Bujangas, no six Bujangas, and no five Bujangas. Okay, now we have already finished this one. Now the next one is, I wanted to read, I went down, what Sri Sambhujinga and Arina Nayena. Okay, here. So, who we can they see there? So, I wanted to underline Bhavadi. Bhavadi is explanation. Bhavadi is what they did. Develops. I don't know Jaita Sandani in one's own mind. Puna Puna Chaniti brings about, make something, make mindfulness. Make bojenga rise, puna puna means again and again. What, what is bhavadi? When you develop samadhi, samasangaba, samawaja, and so on, when you develop sadi sambojenga, damavija sambojenga, and so on, we make this bojenga rise in our continuity of the mind, and exactly, roughly speaking, in our mind, to arise again and again. Again and again means not just one day, not just two times, not just three times. So for example, yesterday I talk about the remembrance of the Buddha's attributes. So in your mind, you remember Araham, Araham, Samasamura, Samasamura. So such a remembrance, no one time, no, not two times, no three times, thousand times. 
hundred thousand times, a million times. We make such a remembrance, arise again and again. It is called the bhavana. But similarly, when we develop anapana meditation, in breathing or breathing, every, every breath when we take in, when we take out, at that time we know, we make mental note, take it in. Or in breathing, when we take out our breathing, in breathing, our breathing, in breathing, our breathing, we are aware, we develop such a sati, we make such a sati rise in our mind many times, again, 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 again. It is called bhavidi. So when you are developing, you are inside meditation, taking object is your stomach, like a rising, falling. At that time also, you, when the stomach rises, you know, it is you make a mental note, rising. When the falling, you make a mental note, it is falling. Falling, rising, falling, rising. Only these two, we are aware, we are observing, we are making mental notes. It's not just one time, two times, three times, it is a hundred thousand times the whole day. Not the whole day, two days, three days. It is called the bhavana. So why we are making such we are making such a mental note? Why we are observing in breathing or breathing or rising, falling stomach? So gradually the mind is concentrated on the single object. Because if because you are doing it many times, thousand times. Your mind is, it is like a trained, trained. So bhavana is also called the mental training. We train our mind to put a single object that we want. So normally, the mind is distracted to many things. If we don't train the mind, the mind is like a wine monkey. This wine monkey go from an, an one pro, uh, from one tree to another tree, everywhere he might play. So this monkey wandered in the whole forest. He may destroy some, sometimes the trees, leaves. Sometimes he may dance. So like a wine monkey, the mind is also distracting. Wandered from one object to another object without taking rest. So we make our mind to be aware of a single object that we put as our own meditation object. When you train, when you train the horses, when you train the bulls, when you train the elephants, the other day we went to the elephant camp. Then I interviewed some of the elephant trainers. They need to train this elephant maybe one year or two years to understand what the, the human beings speak. So this mind also should be trained. So what is a train? Train means that we put this mind into a certain object. We make this mind to stay in a certain object a long time. This certain object also good object, meditation object. Not the movie, not the concert, not the flower, you know, no other things. We we have the very specific meditation object. We make our mind to stay a long time in the single object. We train this mind. If we don't train this mind, this mind will be wandering all the time. Now if you do like this, the mind will be more and more peaceful and concentrated. Like uh, for example, <clears throat> So we, you know, from the tap, we have the waters, you see. So in the water, there are many dust, many dust, a lot. But then we don't use this water after receiving, after filling in the you know, cup, or maybe after the tank, in the tank. We don't use this water. We keep it the whole night. In the morning, you look at, okay, the dust, are, the dust are in the bottom, the water becomes clean. Similarly, the mind also needs to train, 
needs time. No, just one, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, we cannot concentrate it. We cannot make a concentration. We need to train a long time. We need to make this mind to stay, to live a single object a long time. One hour, two hour, three hour. Before the mind stays a single object a long time, we need to teach him. We are teaching the mind, okay, stay here in the in breathing, out breathing. Away of the in breathing, out breathing. Away of the rising, <clears throat> pulling of the stomach. We are teaching the mind. So teaching the mind is a training the mind. We need to teach our mind. Our mind is uh, not educated. It needs a teacher. So according to the meditation method, we teach them. So this is called the Bhavati. So Bhavati also, I, in the diploma, in the Bali class, I, I explained that what is the root of the Bhavati. Boo, okay, what kind of suffix? A, okay, it is a positive not suffix, not churati suffix, okay. <clears throat> okay, we will get Nesita, we will get Nesita, we will get Nesita. So this Uwega also has five. The Dhinga Uwega, Uwega Mana Uwega, Samucheta Uwega, Pripasari Uwega, Nesarana Uwega. Have you seen this Uwega before? And we have, you have already seen it, the Dhinga Bahana. Right, the same. We come in a bahana, samuchira bahana, paripasati bahana, nisrana bahana. Okay. This is my time to ask you, what is the Dhinga bahana? The Dhinga bahana is whose work? In what way, how we can get the Dhinga bahana? Okay, look back at your note. The Dhinga Bahana. What is the Dhinga Bahana? Why the Dhinga Bahana arise? Because of what? Hmm? Because of vipassana jnana, okay? Namarupa pre, with the namarupa prasita jnana, what is removed? The idea of the self is removed. So what is, <clears throat> what is removed by pachya prasita jnana? Kankha, vijikecha, removed. What is removed by the uriyabhya jnana? Sastra deity, ojeda deity, is removed as such. With the, such a vipassana knowledge, certain vipassana knowledge, certain kilesa is removed, is called Tadhinga Bahana. What is Vekamana Bahana? Vekamana Bahana is also eradication of defilements by means of what? By means of the Upajara Samadhi, not only the Jhana, Upajara Samadhi, Abhana Samadhi. So what is Samucheda Pahana? Eradication, complete eradication of Gilesa by means of what? Huh? Path of knowledge, uh, Meganyana. Paribasari Bahana. Eradication of the Gilesa by means of fruition knowledge. What is the Nesrana Bahana? Okay, cessation of the Gilesa. Nibana is called Nesrana.
Okay, now many people practice inside meditation. Now I have to go to the very important part. So what kind of people, two what kind of people, we person are making us. In the very beginning I have explained. So we person are jnana together with making us, right? So we person are jnana also with the making, associated with the makas. The samadhi, samasangaba and so on. Okay? To which people, to which person, we person are mega can arise. Many people know it practice inside meditation, right? Okay, this is one thing. To which people, such a vipassana mega meganga, no. we we were saying vipassana meganga meganga in the vipassana jnana, we were saying in the Bali vipassana meganga can happen to which people. Sometimes I can I can talk about that point uh, without making the questions. Uh, okay, but you know the, you may not notice it is how important it is because of this. Now I create the questions. Okay, whatever you think, you answer me. Hmm? Okay, okay. Now other uh, other answers, whatever you have. Whatever you think, answer me, no problem. I just begin the questions. Many people practice inside meditation around the world, right? Mindfulness meditation, otherwise. Everyone, to everyone, this vipassana meganga can happen. So everyone can attain Vipassana Megangas. Can everyone attain the Vipassana Megangas? Only? Okay. But he's on me. Okay. Whatever you think, it is okay. I just make a questions. Okay. Okay, now I make my question more clear. Some people, they practice inside meditation for their hearts. Okay? So those persons can attain the meganga. 
Wibasana Mekanga, can they attain the Wibasana Mekanga? Why no? Okay, his goal is a logia. It is only for health, fitness. Okay, so the, the answer is according to the Mahasi Seya. So some commentators are explaining like this. This Vipassana, some people they practice a long time Vipassana inside meditation. But the Vipassana Meganga doesn't, doesn't rise. Vipassana Meganga doesn't rise in them. They don't attain Vipassana Nyanas, Vipassana Megangas. So, what kind of person can attain the Vipassana Meganga even though they practice the right method? The method is okay, technique is good, uh, technique is also right. So at that time, one thing, if one thing is less, we cannot attain. Vipassana Meganga. So some people are very happy in living in the 31 planes. They want to wander from one life to another life. They live this life. They, they like this life. They, they like living in the luxurious life. Or maybe they are very delighted in living with their families. They are very delighted in having children. They are very delighted in business. They are worldly happiness. Such a people cannot attain Vipassana Meganga. So, if someone practice inside meditation, his mind should lead to the Nibbana. With the desire to have Nibbana, one should practice inside meditation. Now, as soon as, for example, today you are going to practice inside meditation, now you went to some place, some quiet, you go to the some quiet place, okay, now you cross leg, you make your, you know, the, the, the back, you know, like a straight, cross leg, then you direct your mind to the Nibbana. Like, a, even though we don't, we cannot see the Nibbana, but we should increase, develop the desire to attain the Nibbana. Because now I'm practicing the inside meditation because I want to get out of, from this round of the rebirth. This asisa, this, you know, like uh, the, the desire I should have. Otherwise, because the direction is different, the goal is different, then we cannot attain. This, the, this Vipassana Mbaganga cannot rise. According to the Mahasi Sayar. So this Vipassana Mbaganga can arise only for the people who practice inside meditation with the desire to attain Nibbana. Okay? So we need to, how to say, before we meditate inside, before we practice inside meditation, we have to change our mind. Like uh, when you are watching the movies, and then okay, this time to practice meditation, that you go to the, you know, you practice meditation in front of the Buddha. After one hour, you come back and then you watch the movie. Then they, after another hour, you, so you, are, you don't need, you don't have time to change your mind. Because the mind is still in the television. But the, it is a duty to practice meditation every one hour, for example every 10 o'clock. So at this point also, we should notice. Now the, the, the canonical text that I'm going to explain also connected to this point. Because of this, and I'm making this question. So this such a desire to attain the Nibbana in Bali is called Ichyasaya. So Ijasaya is very important. In when we studied this 
Sabazo was so the in the Dazana Bahadaba Asawa chapter. We have seen like a Ketya to. Have you remember? Do you remember? Do you still remember? Ketya to, right? Okay. Go back. So the other day, uh, say, uh, some uh, students that they still remember Pahana Bati Veda, right? Prinya Bati Veda. Okay, okay, now you should make a right pronunciation. Prinya Bati Veda. Pahana, Pati Veda, Sachi Kiriya, Pati Veda, Bhavana, Pati Veda. Okay, well, we, we need to look at again that paragraph. Okay. At that time, I explained about the Chattu Satcha Kamatana. It is one of the important topics, important points that to, we should study in the Mahasri Prana Sutta. That's the mechanism. Chattari Satcha Ni Eka Bati Vedi Ni Wa Bati Vajati. Okay. Eka Abhisamayena Abhisamayati. Dokam prinya bri vidina bri vajati samudhiya dasana bri vidina nirodham sachi kiriya bri vidina megham pavana bri vidina Noja go inya minina nyanina, ega nyanini wa isa niroda, aramanato. Do you see? Sisa ni, kija do, pati wajati. Aramanato, this is the four nube truths. In the four nube truths, nibana is niroda sacha. It is sachikiriya pati wajata. So Mega Jnana takes the Nibbana as his sole object. Then he understands, it realizes Dukha Sajja, Samuriya Sajja, Mega Sajja by means of the faction. So at that time I had explained. I think also I talk, talk about like a Ijja Seya door, for example. Ijja Seya. Now when I explain to you about the Vipassana Megas, at the time I explained about the Pogba Bhaga Mega. Pogba Bhaga Mega or Logia Mega. So preliminary development of Nube Epopa. Pogba Bhaga Mega. So Aramanado, Kajado, Ijasayado, these three terms are very important to know. Ijasaya, what is the meaning of Ijasaya? Desire. Desire means no, it, desire doesn't mean to, to have sensual pleasure. No? This desire is chanda. The loba and chanda is different. This desire is a no. We use the desire, English term desire, but it doesn't mean the loba, okay? Sometimes you will be, some, sometimes we follow the words, we are confused. Uh, say, I don't translate the you know, desire, you know, it, desire must be loba, because the loba usually translated to desire. But here we translate it as a desire, it's not in the sense of loba. It is in the sense of chanda, okay? Because we don't have any 
and the most suitable English word to translate. So what kind of desire it is more important to ask? A desire to have Nibbana. Not desire to have sensual pleasures, not desire to have money, not desire to have you know, reputation, not desire to have fame, not desire to have position. It, it is a, not such a desire. The desire to attain Nibbana is Ichasaya. So what is the meaning of the Kaitya to? By function. Aramanado by means of object. So object is called the Aramana. So here, important term. Sometimes it is better to use an English term. And then sometimes it is better to use Pali. So Aramana and Aramanika. So Aramana is object. Aramanika is Jada and Jidasikas. So which takes object? Jada Jidasika. Ruba cannot take object. Ruba cannot take object. The mind and the mental properties can take an object. So Aramana, when I talk about the Aramana, that is objects can be which can be taken by my mental properties. When I later I will tell you Aramanika. Aramana Aramanika, when I talk about the Aramanika, it means Jada Jitisika, consciousness and mental properties. So Aramana, Aramanika, these two terms are also very useful when you study the Abhidhamma commentary, so the Abhidhamma subject. These two terms that we should know, Aramana and Aramanika. So in the Aramanika, Nibbana is Aramana or Aramanika? Aramani, Aramana, Nibbana is Aramana, no Aramanika. Rupa is Aramana or Aramanika? Aramana, okay. Nibbana or Rupa. Rupa is object. This object is can be seen, can be taken by Jaita and Jadisigas. So whenever later I will talk I if I talk about when I talk about Aramanika it means Jaita Jadisika. Sometimes I will not use Jaita Jadisika, I will use Aramanika. Okay, Aramana also when you see, when you hear this term Aramana, you understand that this is object. Okay? Aramana and Aramanika. Three important terms that to this morning we have learned. Ijasaya. Aramana do. Ijasaya do. Keja do. Okay? Not only that, if some, even though we practice inside meditation for the hope of to be more beautiful, to be strong health, to have strong health. So some people, mindfulness meditation, they, they practice in America. Even, you know, going to the some um, media, as I have read, they also teach this mindfulness meditation to the Marine soldiers. So they can fight very well because of mindfulness meditation. Okay, so to them, the Meganga can rise or not. No, cannot rise. Because their, their goal is not Nibbana. 
only the people who has directed to the Nibbana, who practice meditation with such an aim to get the Nibbana, can rise. Nova Epo path can rise. It's very clear, even though they might say mindfulness, meditation, or whatever they say. The name may be city, but the not real city, because the goal is to fight fake enemy. So, because of this, when we are practicing the meditation, nowadays we are very misled by many causes. The physicians also use this inside meditation, mindfulness meditation, to, to you know, make the mind to be more relaxed. Sometimes they call it relaxation practice. So the meditation, Vipassana medi the purpose of the Vipassana meditation is not just to relax, it is just to attain Nibbana, liberation. This liberation, the aim is very important. Because of this aim, the Buddha fulfilled Paramis for us and Kaya and 100,000 Gabbas. When the Buddha became the purpose of becoming a Buddha also to get liberation. To get this liberation, the Buddha knew, the Buddha enlightened, the Buddha understood, the Buddha expounded this noble Eightfold Path to the people, to the beings. If we, okay, you can practice inside meditation with a different object, but this noble Eightfold Path, I mean the Vipassana Meganga cannot rise. If Vipassana Meganga cannot rise, Mega Jnana, Pala Jnana can rise or not, cannot rise. Okay, this point also this morning I introduce you to, it's also very important to know this, okay? Well, we will continue this class in the afternoon. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.